America will never tap into educational innovation and ingenuity without looking at the model that we have in our madrasas, in our schools, where innovation is encouraged, where the foundation is the Quran. Indiana Congressman Andre Carson says the speech which has caused such an uproar is similar to one he has given many times. First up, comments from Indiana Congressman Andre Carson on American education are seeing some major backlash, but he says they were taken out of context. Carson says he does not advocate educating American students in Muslim principles. He says he's only trying to find ways to graduate more students from public schools. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox was able to get an explanation from the congressman today. Norman. Well, Carson, who is a Muslim, made his comments in May to the Convention of the Islamic Circle of North America. But he says he meant them to apply equally to all faith-based schools, including those run by Catholics, other Christians, and Jews. Carson says he in no way wanted to suggest that American schools should teach Islamic principles, only that public schools might want to study the methods used by religious schools of all denominations to see why they work so much better. And what I want to do is allow us to have an honest discussion about why graduation rates in public schools are embarrassingly low and faith-based institutions and educational institutions seem to have higher graduation rates. Carson says he wants to know if the secret is smaller classrooms, more room for teachers to adapt, or something else. But he doesn't want public schools teaching Islamic religious beliefs. Absolutely not. I strongly believe that there should be, I strongly believe, in separation of church and state. Carson says he knows many people consider just the word madrasa inflammatory, even though it is just the Arabic word for school. Madrasas do have a reputation in Saudi Arabia and Britain for teaching anti-Western values, but he says this was taken completely out of context. I'm Norman Cox, RTV6. Okay, the only thing I find more amazing that all these local news outlets somehow miss this story is how they're all on the same page running to the defense of Congressman Carson, claiming that he was misquoted or his words were taken out of context and somehow they know what he meant, even though they weren't there and they didn't even know anything about the story until they saw it on YouTube. So it's just interesting how they're all running to his defense, except for Fox News, who's uh, covered the story a lot better than the other networks and while they're getting blasted on the internet here's a July 11th posting Fox News continues its jihad against representative Andre Carson the article stated if Fox News really believes that Carson is somehow working to institute Sharia law or inculate radical Muslims into the American educational system that would be a huge story worth investigating and yet the network has not come up with a thing beyond a provocative soundbite and some agitating innuendo. If there really was some substance behind the implication, wouldn't Fox have come up with it already? Don't they owe it to their viewers to inform them of all the facts surrounding such a frightening possibility? The glaring lack of investigation strongly points to a likelihood that there is nothing to report, and Fox knows it. These segments may not ultimately reveal very much about Congressman Carson, but they do reveal something very clear about Fox, that it is an organization that is more interested in maligning an outspoken African-American Muslim. Okay, so we can see that anybody who tries to talk about the story is labeled as a racist, and they're on a jihad against the congressman just for covering the story. So not only does the local mainstream or lamestream media miss the story they're all claiming that uh, Carson's right in what he's doing <laughs> 